Hello everybody. <clears throat> okay, let's see what uh, this new project is called. Uh, uh, it's a project, it's a ESP now. That's mean that um, these two microprocessors are communicating directly without the use of Wi-Fi. Okay, <clears throat> it's called ESP now. All right. So what do we do here? It's a, a, made a button here. Put a button connected to this ESP. And we have a, a LED with a 220 ohm uh, resistor. And when we press the button, it goes on. Press it again, goes off. Okay, this is not IoT or it's not anything like that. It's just that these two items with, a, with these two ESP can communicate with any ESP, even the A266 or the uh, uh, Node NCU. And they can, this particular two can go as far as about 100, 100, sometimes even 200 uh, meters or even more. Uh, you know, it depends if you're in a nice, clear, flat area. Okay, so now let's have a look at some of the codes. We have uh, uh, ESP now sender. Uh, in the sender, in the sender, we have the the ESP now library, so you have to have you have to uh, um, download that for your sketch to run. We have uh, this is the uh, MAC address. Now this MAC address, you get it from your serial monitor. You can if you see your serial monitor, and um, we press reset okay you get a mac address which is not this one uh, we don't we don't we just leave it as it is this one but your your one that you're going to use to put it on, into into the sender will come from the receiver so the receiver The receiver MAC address will be shown oh, sorry. Okay, and there is a MAC address which is this MAC address must be put into the um, senders. So let's go back to the senders. And now I will show you in the senders. This is the MAC address. You see, it comes out like this: it's thirty-four B four seven two A four E C B, I think, and seven four. And you're gonna put it here with a zero time because it's a hexadecimal uh, uh, numbers, x x number, hexadecimal number. So you're going to put them all like that in this position here, as they are, obviously. <clears throat> and that will communicate between the two. Now, uh, a few important things that uh, the library has, it's uh, between the receiver and the sender. Okay, it's the uh, void on send. Okay, so this is void on send, which is a constructed um, function for, for the senders. And you also have, you also have the ESP now register send uh, callback. So your callback on send, it's for the senders okay while the the receiver the receiver will have uh, under void on void on receive this is the um, the function for for the receiver to put on to trans transfer the data 
And then down here you have the registered data, which is the ESP now register, receive callback. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's it's less difficult, I'm gonna say, than IoT or than um, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, different type of Wi-Fi connectivity. So but this works actually quite fine, and it's you can you can put like another like five or six, probably more of this item, I'm not so sure, but you can put a lot on your network. So you can have a network practically based on uh, ESP now. Okay, so let's go back here and this is the way it works. So you press the button in this case and it leads up and it goes off. So I will make some more different item. I like to maybe next would be to to do um, um, something with the uh, MPU. I'll think about it, or maybe put uh, like a two or three communicated. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, I hope you like this one. Please give me a thumbs up. And um, yeah, we'll chat later again. Thank you very much. Have a good day.